What's up everyone? Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Tonight I'm going to be doing a tutorial stream of Unreal PT. New um, remake of Silent Hills Demo PT. It scared a lot of people. It scared me and my girlfriend. You can check that out on my YouTube channel. This will eventually get posted there, so if you need some help, go there and uh, check it out. It's under same name, Ataxia Vox, and, uh, or you can check the link on my Twitch channel. Alright, so let's get started. I've played this several times, and uh, these are some of the things that I've kind of like picked up on about how to make it happen. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing you gotta you gotta know is that there there is certain things you gotta do each loop you go. If uh, there's a puzzle within one of those loops and you don't complete the said loop, e you'll die. <laughs> Which it might very well happen to me because sometimes it does randomize. But these are things that I've picked up on with the several times that I've played. Everything takes place in this one hallway. The day of the so crime, the first the loop, went to the trunk of his car, there are the absolutely no puzzles, nothing to see, after nothing to do. You'll when just continue came to the commotion, and walk through. Second loop, you'll walk to the hallway door, that hallway door down there, which will trigger a banging sound. Whenever you hear the banging sound, you're going to turn around. Okay. But turn around. See, there's that banging. And you'll come back. To about here. There was a picture there on the wall. Now it's right here. So you'll press the right mouse button or your look feature, whichever it is. Uh, read the text if you want. And then you can continue on. That'll unlock the door, and you'll be able to continue on with the game. Keep on swimming. The third loop, nothing happens. No no puzzles, at least from what I've seen. The picture's now on the wall. There's no puzzles during the third loop. Except there will be a banging. You can continue on straight through. So let's continue on straight through with what we got going on here. Whenever you get to about like the foyer area, the door will close. So you got to go forward and touch the door. That will open the bathroom behind you. When you can go back to the bathroom and click your zoom button, right mouse button, probably, and uh, wait until the entire sequence plays out the door will shut and then and the hall door will open the fifth loop nothing to see here just continue on I may have messed something up. Hmm. Yeah, I messed up. My apologies. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mess up. So, this loop, you'll have to pick up the flashlight. And what will happen is the door will slam behind you. Alright? So, now you're inside of a sequence here. You can either stare at the child, or doesn't matter, the fetus, whatever, but staring in the general direction of it will play out the entire sequence.
Okay, once the door opens, you can go ahead and go through. So this is where, this is where I usually end up dying, because <laughs> I always forget this step. However, once you start hearing the radio start to play, you want to continue on, but do not go into the next doorway, okay? What you need to do is you need to look at this picture right here, okay? Do not continue through that door. You will die. It says gouge it out, so you're going to press your activate button, or in the case of PC, press the X button. That will stab her eye. Her name is Lisa. That completely unlocks everything. And then once then, you exit. New writing will appear on the wall. Forgive me, Lisa. There are monsters inside of me. Alright, loop uh, 8. Loop 8. No puzzles, just continue on. There will be some jump, minor jump scares throughout the game. So just keep that in mind. Loop 9. No puzzles in this one either. There is a there is a chance of her spawning in the foyer area. I've seen her spawn there before during this loop or the previous loop, but if she does, just wait. Don't don't approach her or anything. She will kill you. You have to start that loop over. Yes, that is her inside there. But there is nothing to see here. All right. So on this loop, this is loop 10, we're almost there, bear with me. What you want to do, make sure she's not there, okay? Because she'll stand in the foyer, I don't know why she likes standing in the foyer. But you see that hello is written on the wall here. So what you need to do is look at it, walk a little bit over here, and you can see this right here. It'll say, I can hear them calling to me from, it'll be blank, but by looking at the hello, the L is replaced. So I go back. See the L is gone. Go back over here. Now we got E. Go back. See, it keeps... So what you're looking for is once... Hell is spelled out. It'll unlock. And then you can continue. You'll hear her laugh and everything like that. So just go ahead and continue. Alright, loop 11. There's nothing in this one. This is where it kind of picks up a bit. Alright, so you don't have to hold any specific button or anything. It'll make you sprint through. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep running through here. The eyes in the wall signify that you need to be looking for something. Okay. You are looking specifically for a hole in the wall right here, okay? So don't continue past here. Look for this hole in the wall, hold your activate button, your zoom button, your right mouse button, and look through. Now you have to wait for the sequence to finish up and uh just wait, and it'll automatically kick you out of looking through a hole. Okay? Oh, got her. Alright. No turning back now. So, you hear the audible unlock. You don't need to go in the bathroom. You just continue on down the hallway. Alright, for this next loop, uh, 
loop 13, I believe. You have you have to be kind of quick here. There are six different picture pieces of the ripped up picture frame right here that are located throughout the throughout the hallway. So there are actually two right here. One right there in between the beer cans, the soda cans, sorry. There's one, and it'll immediately get put there. Second one right here. Two. Okay. One right there. The game will start to glitch out, all right? Don't worry, that is all part of the game. And then there's this one. You won't be able to go through there. And then this fifth one right here. So I've found five. The sixth one is beyond that door. So the game will start continue to glitch out and you just kind of want to walk four, around. Just kind of walk six, around six, until two, zero, four, eight, six, And this is all just a waiting game at this point. There it is. It will transition to this weird coding message that just... I don't know why, I wouldn't. but here it is. Now that you think the game is restarted, it's not. All you need to do is wait. And then you'll finally be popped out. Here. Okay. Now you can go and collect the sixth piece. This is still loop 13. Go ahead and grab it. It's right here at the base of these stairs. Got the final piece. Continue through the doorway. Now this is where it gets really tricky. Now I've tried to do this several different times and it always seems to be weird. So what I do is I go forward and I wait right here. I just sit here and it's a waiting game. What you're waiting for is you're waiting for midnight. If you looked on the clock as I passed it, it said 23.59, 11.59. So we're waiting for midnight to chime. There it is. Once it starts chiming, do not move. Don't touch your mouse, don't touch your controller. Just let it chime out. It'll chime midnight. And once that finally does that, um, what you wanna do is you wanna turn towards the door you came from and walk roughly 10 paces or so. Turn around, wait for the first child to laugh, all right? Walk back towards the foyer, all right? That sound you're hearing signifies that Lisa is here. What you wanna do is you'll see her Keep her in sight, but don't get too close to her. Don't let her get too close to you, okay? Otherwise, she will possess you and you'll end the game. Just kind of waiting at this point. Alright, once she disappears, stay still. Wait for that second baby, and then there will be a third laugh. There's the third laugh. So what you're gonna do after the third laugh is wait by the phone. Once the phone rings, zoom in on it. You've been chosen. You've been chosen. You'll hear an audible unlock key, and then you'll continue in to the foyer area and through the final door. Ok. 
Congratulations. You have just completed Unreal PT. There will be a small audio thing. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. Be careful not to be blinded by the white light like I did. And that is it. That is all there is to PT. You can fin it took me, my first playthrough, it took me roughly 40 minutes to complete it. It was a blind playthrough too, so it was hard. <laughs> However, I, play, I let my girlfriend play it. She hated it. And uh, I played it a couple times since, trying to get it down, make sure that everything is as it happens. Looked up a few tutorials on it myself, so here it is, my gift to you. Um, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Hang on, let me, uh, real quick. sorry about that, everyone. Uh, th I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. I know it's a super short stream. I know it is, but my, uh, happens. I got priorities to take care of. All right. Thank you all very much for joining me. Thank you for watching my video, uh, cause this will end up on YouTube. For anyone that wants to wants a tutorial on how to beat it. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time.